Okay, we are back, and I just got out of work, and I just, um, the box is open, so I want to show you what it looks like inside, give you an idea what it is. It's an actual six-foot witch, okay, and I got to actually assemble it, and apparently it has batteries that goes with it, and it makes a cackling sound, and it's a six-foot witch, so it's going to look rather cool next to my Halloween uh, Christmas tree that I have in my room. The entire room, as most of you already know, is fully decorated with all kinds of Halloween stuff. So this is going to be a nice addition to that room. Anyway, I'm going to pull things out of the box, show you what's in the box, you know, part-wise. Then we'll go into actually assembling it. Be right back. All right, what you're looking at is the actual assembly for the base of this. And it looks very similar to a Christmas tripod where you actually set up the base and you set up the pole in the center and you literally slide this entire assembly down on it and kind of stretch the material. I think that's how it's going to work here. So it's a real easy thing to assemble. But anyway, I'm going to show you what this looks like. And I'll show you what it looks like once it's fully assembled. There's the hand. This is the book. It reads from a book, okay? And that's her face right there, okay? That's the hat, alright? Right there, okay? The hat, okay? But anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to shut this down and slowly assemble it, show you what it looks like in stages. Be right back. Now when it comes to the pole assembly, as you can see, I've got the base all set up to ready to go. And it comes with three different sections of a pole. And it comes with this little like grommet that fits the, uh, the poles together. So it's all one piece of obviously the way they packed it because they're in three separate stages. You just simply slip them together and then slip it into the hole. And that's what she looks like so far. Okay, now what I'm going to do is take the actual witch and get her on this pole. Be right back. Okay, this is the actual final version of the six foot witch. It is from uh, Lakeside Collections and it literally took me two months to get it in but it was worth it in my opinion. But anyway, I'm going to show you what it looks like, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the sensor so you can hear some of the different sound effects that it makes, okay? Now keep in mind, it is set up on a tripod, or in this uh, case, it's actually a quadrupod-like uh, uh, leg, and up straight up to the pole, and it connects up by the neck, so obviously it looks like a six-foot witch. you got to rearrange the, uh, the wardrobe so it looks halfway decent. The hair is more like a cotton type uh, situation. Uh, you just got to kind of rearrange it. And the hat as well. You got to straighten it out and stuff like that. He does come with a spell book. So what we're going to do is show you what it looks like from head to toe. Okay. Start from the bottom here. Okay. As you can see the, uh, the legs are sticking out. You got to kind of rearrange this so it doesn't actually see it. But in most cases when people see this they don't really look at the base of it anyway. Okay, now she's holding the spell book. Okay, so what I'm going to do is actually show you what the book looks like. It's pretty plain and simple. There's no special writing on it or anything. She's just holding the book. Okay. Okay, that's what it looks like. Let me show you what the pages look like. It's empty, guys. Alright, and her hair. And along with the other garment. Part of a witch's hat. Okay, these are all attached to the head. Now you can see this little sensor right down there by her chin. We're going to be touching that, and that's what's going to wake this thing up. But anyway, that's what she looks like. She's got like a webbing type garment that goes all the way down. Okay, it's pretty cool. Right. And this thing only costs like 50 bucks. You can't go wrong. If you want something very cool and you love Halloween, this is definitely something to get, okay? Alright. Alright, but anyway, that's what she looks like from the back. Now what I'm going to do is go ahead and fire it up a little bit. So you can hear the many different sound effects to this thing. And her eyes do light up, so here we go. Now it's not great sound effects, but it is very cool just for 50 bucks. You really can't complain too much. And like I said, I'm going to put this next to my Halloween Christmas tree. 
it's going to look fantastic. So I don't really complain about the sound effects, even though it does have sound effects. It's cool. Let's see, that's cool. Now there is in fact another video, I think it's on Lakeside Collections and on YouTube that actually just shows it where it briefly shows you the actual uh, witch and then it pans away to the wall. It's just weird the way they did that video. Okay, that's pretty much it on the sound effects here, guys. So what I'm going to do is actually shut this down, set this up, and kind of arrange it next to the tree, and then I'm going to show you what it looks like. And again, we'll fire it up next to the tree when it's all lit up. All right, so I will be back. Okay, we're back, and here is where I got it so far. I probably most likely will rearrange it once the Christmas tree is gone. But anyway, I want to show you what the, Chris, uh, the actual Halloween tree looks like next to the actual um, witch and stuff so this here is like full of all kinds of Halloween goodness here but you'll notice there's a bunch of uh, vintage type Day of the Dead other, other type masks even a clown mask over here okay and it also comes with a bloody scream variant ghost face mask I decided to throw a bunch of uh, you know, f um, masks on here simply because I'm going to show you this in a second I have a decent amount of masks that are sitting on this tree and sitting on my shelf here that I had uh, built just for these masks anyway and that's what she looks like and then this here is a uh, plague doctor type mask it's really cool looking and it's got other stuff like spiders okay but anyway here is the witch in all her glory right next to the actual Halloween tree okay you can see what she looks like again we're going to hit that sensor let's go back into it again that's pretty cool anyway I've been waiting too much for this thing to come in Originally we ordered for it to come in in October, which would have been a more appropriate thing to do. Uh, but for obvious reasons, I had to call the company to find out what was going on with it. And the lady, she couldn't understand me half the times. But we finally got from point A to point B. And she pretty much told me that it would not come in until like mid-November. I'm like, what the fuck? But anyway, long story short, I said to myself, I don't mind waiting. I want the witch, okay? This thing's only 50 bucks, guys, okay? six foot all the way straight down okay I know the lighting is not that great here but eventually I will do a better one and bring my lumens light in and totally light the place up and there's my Halloween sign and there's another plague doctor mask up on the top of the uh, lamp okay now here are my masks okay now I showed these in other videos I also got a huge uh, bobblehead and body knocker collection of horror along with some Funko Pops as you can see I just got Pinhead okay I just got him along with Chucky and his bride alright these are Toonie Terrors and then down here is Jason a bunch of other stuff alright all the way straight back and those are all the season of the witch and there's some clown ones up in the back there but the uh, the witch is in the way and Got some stuff down here, okay. The demon. Okay, all the way straight down to the bottom. But anyway, guys, that is my witch. I've been waiting for it to come in. It finally came in. I wanted to show you guys. This is probably the most thorough uh, video out there based on this witch along with the complete setup. It's not a hard setup. You just got to slap the base together. Uh assemble the uh, pole and put her together and put batteries in the back she does take two double a batteries so keep that in mind okay and you also want to keep an eye on that take your batteries out every year because they will corrode the actual uh, 
battery compartment. You don't want that. Anyway, this is Pumpkin Hard. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And hit that notification bell, guys. Okay, and gals. Happy Halloween. Even though it's late, past it now. But anyway, happy Halloween anyway. Have a good night.